Now here the questions we are given a passage in which we are given that let S be a circle in x y plane defined by the equation x square plus y square equals four. So we have this circle with center at origin and radius equals two units. Let e one, e two, and f one, f two be the chords of S passing through the point p naught one comma one. Parallel to x-axis and y-axis respectively. Let g1, g2 be the chord of S passing through p0 and having slope minus one. Let tangent to S at e1, e2 meets at e3, and tangent to S at f1, f2 meet at f3. The tangent to S at g1, g2 meet at g3. Then the points e3, f3, and g3 lie on which are the following curves. Now it says we have this point P naught, which is one comma one, and one comma one is going to lie inside this circle. So this point is P naught. Then a line passing through P naught parallel to x-axis, and we have a line passing through P naught parallel to y-axis. So this is E one E two, and this point is F one. And this other point is F two. Now this line is y is equal to one, and this is the line x equals one. Now if we put y equals one here, we'll get x is plus minus root three. So this e one is minus root three comma one, and e two is root three comma one. And if we put x as one in this equation, we'll get y as plus minus root three. So it'll be this one comma root three and one comma. Minus root three, so we have coordinates of e one, e two, and f one, f two. Now it says, now it says, let g one, g two be the chord of S passing through p naught and having slope minus one. So this is this line which passes through p naught, and slope of this line is minus one. So equation of this line will be. Y minus one minus one, x minus one, or simply x plus y equals two. So this point basically g one is zero comma two, and g two will be two comma zero. Now it says tangents to S at E one and E two meets at E three. So if we write tangent at E one, it is given by t equals to zero. So this equation will be minus root three x plus y. It is equal to four. And at E two again will be t equals zero. So there will be root three x plus y, and it is equal to four. Now here we get y as four and x as zero. So basically, coordinate of this point E three it is zero comma four. Now in the same way, we can write equation of tangent at f one. Now at f one, equation of tangent is given by x plus root three y equals four and x minus root three y equals four. Now here x is four and y is zero, so that's your f three. It says tangents at g1 and g2 meet at g3. Now g1 and g2, they are here, right? So this point of intersection will be simply two comma two. So this g3, it is two comma two, and these three points they are collinear and they lie on this line. X plus y is equal to four. So answer to this question is this option A. X plus y equals four. Now the second part is let P be a point on the circle S with both coordinates being positive. Let tangent to S at P intersect the coordinate axis at points M and N. Then the midpoint of line segment M N must lie on this curve. So we have to find basically locus of midpoint of M N. Now suppose there is a point P. And we'll take this P in terms of parameter coordinates. Let it be two cos theta and two sine theta. Then we know that equation of tangent is given by t equals zero. 
So this equation will be 2 cos theta x plus 2 sin theta y it is equal to 4 or x cos theta plus y sin theta equals 2. Now it intersects x axis and y axis at m and n. So this m will be 2 secant theta comma 0 and this m will be 0 comma 2 cosec theta. Now we will find locus of midpoint of m n. Now suppose this point is alpha comma beta. So we'll get alpha is secant theta and beta is cosec theta. Now we'll eliminate theta. We know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So we'll get 1 upon alpha square plus 1 upon beta square equals 1 or alpha square plus beta square equals alpha square beta square and then we replace alpha with x and beta with y. So this required locus will be x square plus y square equals x square y square and that's your option D. So it matches with this option D.